Hello my loves and welcome back to my beauty channel. Today's hack video is all about mastering your brow game and looking like a boss because let's be honest, a girl or a boy with strong brows always owns the room. I'm going to show you how you can shape, fill in and maintain your brows for a perfect face framing effect every single time. So without further ado, if you want to see my top eyebrow hacks everyone needs to know, please keep watching. My first hack is to make a DIY growth serum with equal parts castor oil, coconut oil, and aloe vera gel. This serum will not only help you achieve thicker, fuller brows, but it also comes in handy when you accidentally overpluck and need to grow out your brow hairs stat. So what I like to do is dip a Q-tip into the serum after shaking it up and applying it to my eyebrows every night before bed. If you have long eyebrow hairs that go past your eyebrow shape, tame them by trimming them. The easiest way to trim them is to brush your eyebrow hairs down and using curved scissors like these to contour to your brow shape. For those inner hairs, you just want to brush them upwards and trim them straight across. Eyebrow tinting is another trick I like to use when I want to hide those areas that I overplucked like I did on this eyebrow here. It's also great for those of you who have lighter hairs or less fuller brows because it allows you to create the shape that you want and you'll have beautiful brows even without makeup. So I personally love this product by Godfrey. Godfrey, I have no idea how to pronounce it, but it's very gentle, inexpensive, and super easy to use. I got it off of Amazon, so I'll leave the link for this product in the description box for those of you who are interested. All I do is mix up the product and I apply it using this brush that came with the kit just to fill in the areas that I need some extra help. If you accidentally overprocessed your brows and they're looking a little bit like Sharpie brows, take a little bit of hand soap on a Q-tip, brush the soap through your brows and massage them for about 10 to 15 seconds and then wipe it off. If you are prone to overplucking, take an eyebrow pencil or eyeliner and outline the bottom of your brow to your liking. This way you have a distinct border between your eyebrow and everything below it so you know not to pluck above that line. Thread your eyebrows at home by taking a piece of thread and tying it into a loop like this. Twist the loop in the middle two times and stick your pointer finger and thumb from each hand through the loop like this. Place the hair you want to pull in front of the twist and then open up the pointer finger and thumb on the side that is opposite to the growth of hair to catch the hair and pull it. This takes some practice, I'm not gonna lie, but this method makes it super hard to overdo it. Use a face razor to clean up those larger areas around your brows, like between your brows, above your arch, and above the tail. Just be very careful not to get too close to your actual brow or you don't accidentally shave off something you didn't want to shave off. To make sure your brow products look the most natural and stay in place all day, fill in your eyebrows before foundation. Foundation cakes up in between your brow hairs and makes it difficult to get an even and natural application when filling in your brows. If you're like me though and you don't like the idea of filling in your eyebrows before foundation, apply your foundation as you usually do and then take a wet q-tip or makeup remover wipe and carefully remove the foundation in between your brow hairs. This will help your brow products go on much more smoothly and look more natural. Find a brow shape that is most flattering for your face shape instead of just doing what's on trend. Some people look amazing with straight brows, angled brows, etc, etc, but play around with your brows to find what shape you like best and works best for your personal face shape. Personally, because my face is more square shaped, I find I look best with rounded arches rather than pointy angular arches because it softens up my features. Here's a chart for a reference of different brow shapes that are most flattering on different face shapes. Use two mirrors when filling in your brows, one that you can see your whole face in to make sure you outline your brows as symmetrically as possible, and another handheld one that you can bring up super close to your face so you can focus on the little details. 
Use a thin makeup brush to mark out the shape of your brows to help you achieve symmetry. First, align the most inner part of your brow with the most outer part of your nostril to find the most natural part at where your eyebrow should start. Next, align your nostril with the center of your pupil while looking straight to find your arch. And finally, align your nostril with the outer corner of your eye to find the tail of your brow. Once you have these three marked guidelines, you can start to connect them to shape your brows. If you have a hard time shaping your brows no matter what you do, use tape to create a stencil around your brows and fill them in that way. Just make sure you remove as much of the stickiness on the back of your hand before applying the tape to your skin. Use a dark shade on the outer part of your brow and a lighter shade on the inner part of your brow to get the most natural effect. Eyebrows naturally have a gradient and are more sparse on the inner part, so you want to mimic that if you want a more natural look. Use hair-like strokes by flicking your angled brush or micro pencil to create the illusion of hairs for the most natural effect. If you're using an angled brush, make sure you pinch the brush to make it as thin as possible and then go in to create your faux hairs. Pluck your eyebrows after you filled them in. This way, it's much easier to see which hairs need to go and which ones need to stay. The worst thing you can do is over pluck because once those hairs are gone, it will be an eternity until they come back. So I personally prefer to use micro pencils because I find it's easier to create fine hair like strokes with them. But if you don't want to spend extra money on that, you can just use a matte eyeshadow that you may already have at home to fill in your brows with an angled brush. If you're using a powder to fill in your brows and you find that it is not as pigmented as you want it, dip your brush into the powder and then spray it with a setting spray to make the shadow more pigmented and stick to the areas you place it. If you have a brown eyeliner, you can transform it into a pomade by heating it up a little bit with a lighter and then using an angled brush to pick up some of the liner and fill in your brows that way. Another great way to DIY your own brow pomade is to take your angled brush and dip it into some beeswax, which is basically an all-natural alternative to Vaseline, and then dip it into a shadow or powder before applying it into your brows. If you have unruly brows that have a mind of their own, use a brow gel or mascara to keep them in place all day long. If you don't have any eyebrow gel or brow mascara, not to worry. All you need is a clean spoolie and some hairspray. Spray some hairspray on a clean spoolie and comb through your brows to instantly lock those brow hairs in place. If you accidentally made your brows too dark, you can tone them down using a lighter brow mascara or a lighter shadow to avoid looking like you've got sharpie looking brows. Brush a tiny bit of shimmery shadow or highlighter in a shade a little bit lighter than your brows through your brows using a spoolie. This will give your brows a beautiful 3D effect that's multidimensional and less flat which can sometimes look fake. Carve out your brows and clean up any mistakes using a little bit of concealer or foundation on a small brush like this. Create an instant brow lift by applying a shimmery shadow or highlight shade on your brow bone in a few shades lighter than your skin tone. See the difference? Love it!
Okay guys, so that wraps up my top eyebrow hacks that I think everyone needs to know. I really hope you enjoyed it and found these tips and tricks helpful. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos like this one. You can also follow me on Instagram. My Instagram handle is Nikki Sky with three Y's and I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I will see you in my next video.